Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So thanks so much for enjoying the son video that I made. So today we're gonna to be covering the father. Now he is arguably the most mystifying, powerful, and influential force-wielding family in all of Star Wars ever. Next, perhaps the Skywalkers. A member of a brood known as the Ones, the father was the embodiment of what the Jedi Order always sought to achieve. He was the very essence and representation of being that has and somehow is the balance in the Force. With a long flowing beard, smooth gray skin, the father casted an ancient weathered look. He had two children, the daughter, who was the pure embodiment of the light side of the Force, and the son, the very essence of the dark side. To try and keep his children's immense power in check, the father brought them to a planet that existed, not in the regular space of the temporal realm, but instead, on a different spiritual plane within the galaxy. The planet was sought to be the origin point of the Force itself, and was known as Mortis. There, the father used his power to act as a stabilizing influence on his children, keeping their powers in balance for eons. The daughter remained faithful to him, but the son craved nothing more than to usurp the father and take his place. Whether Mortis was the Genesis planet for the Force or not, it did act as a conduit for all things in the universe, connected to the mysterious energy field that binds the galaxy together. However, even though they made their home on a different plane of existence, the Ones remained informed of the events unfolding in the galaxy at large, and eventually, during the Clone Wars, news of the appearance of the prophesied Chosen One reached the Father. Intrigued by this development, he used an ancient Jedi distress code to lure Anakin Skywalker, the Chosen One, his Padawan learner, Ahsoka Tano, and fellow Jedi and best friend, Obi-Wan Kenobi, to the planet Mortis. The daughter brought Anakin Skywalker before the father at his monastery, where he welcomed the young Jedi. But then after grappling with the son, Skywalker confronted the father, believing him and his kids to be Sith. The father explained otherwise. He related the history of his family and how each of them represents an aspect of the Force. Anakin and his friends were free to leave after the father had given Anakin a test to determine if he indeed was the Chosen One. For the test, the son and daughter had transformed themselves into animal forms and kidnapped both Ahsoka and Obi-Wan. Anakin was given a choice of who to save, either his apprentice or his best friend and former master. But refusing to sacrifice any of them, Anakin instead used Mortis's force amplifying properties to compel the siblings to release both of his friends and with his power made the force wielders revert back to their humanoid forms. He had passed the test and the father was now convinced that Anakin was indeed the chosen one. So he asked the young Jedi to take his place and act as the new balance between his two children. Anakin, though conflicted, declined the offer, as he reasoned that he couldn't abandon his Jedi comrades in the middle of a war. The father warned Anakin that if he made the selfish choice and decided to leave Mortis, he would place the galaxy entirely in danger. But not for the first nor for the last time. Anakin would make the selfish choice and be determined to return to the galaxy with his friends. But before Anakin and the others could leave, the son kidnapped Ahsoka to keep the Jedi on Mortis. He wanted to use their ship to escape the planet and join the galaxy at large, spreading the dark side wherever he went. The father confronted the son, pleading with him to renounce the dark side once and for all. This only angered the son further, as you guys learned in the previous video that I made about the son, and so he blasted the father with force lightning, knocking him out. When he regained consciousness, the father discovered that the daughter had let the Jedi retrieve a mystical weapon called the Dagger of Mortis which was the only object in the entire galaxy that could kill an immortal member of the Ones. The Jedi and the Daughter had united to try to stop the Sun, but he had used his considerable powers to turn Anakin's Padawan, Ahsoka, to the dark side. So now Master was fighting Apprentice. The father immediately tried to put a stop to the fighting, but in his weakened state, he was no longer a match for the son's power. During their struggle, the son seized the Mortis dagger and swung a killing blow at the father, but just before he could strike, the daughter jumped between them, and the son accidentally stabbed his sister with the weapon, mortally wounding her. Overcome with despair at his actions, the son fled the scene as the force on Mortis, titled out of balance with the daughter dying on the planet, as a consequence of the dying light, descended into darkness. Just before passing on, with her last remaining powers and effort, the daughter cleansed the dark side from Ahsoka 
saving the young Padawan's life. The father, grieving the loss of the daughter, also feared that the imbalance that now existed on Mortis would extend out from the planet and give the Sith and the Dark Side the advantage throughout the galaxy. So he beseeched the Jedi to leave before his son could get a hold of their ship and make it off-world. The father then buried the daughter in a crypt, but when Anakin came to him having decided not to leave, as he feared the son could never be imprisoned on Mortis forever. At some point, he would find a way to escape and endanger the entire galaxy, so he had to be stopped permanently. Though the father had made up his mind to eliminate the son, he didn't want Anakin's help. He was fearful that the son would be able to use Anakin's incredible power to tilt the balance of the Force and bring the havoc that had befallen Mortis into the galaxy. And those fears proved correct, as soon after, just as the father had feared, the son was able to seduce Anakin to the dark side, and so the ancient patriarch decided to confront the Chosen One outside the Jedi starship, before he and the son could use it to leave Mortis. Anakin, having glimpsed his future life as Darth Vader due to the son's meddling, told the father that he feared the suffering he would bring to the galaxy, and he believed he had no choice but to embrace the dark side in order to avert the terrible future before him. To release Anakin of the son's dark side influence, the father used his powers to erase the Jedi's memory of his dark destiny, freeing him from the son's hold. Anakin, Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, and the father then together went to oppose the son, but the dark side's power had grown so powerful on Mortis with the absence of the daughter, and so, even united, they could not match the son's power anymore. So, seeing that the only way to stop the son was to remove his immortality, the father took the Mortis dagger and stabbed himself as a sacrifice. For without the father, the son was no longer immortal. Seeing his father dying before him, the son was shaken by remorse, and the two of them then made peace just before Anakin Skywalker impaled the son with his lightsaber. Before he passed on, the father told Anakin that with all of the ones now dead, Anakin had brought balance to Mortis. And one day, as Anakin was the chosen one, he would restore balance to the Force in the wider galaxy too. However, he should be aware of his own inner self, lest he bring doom to the galaxy. And with that, the father's body vanished, as did Mortis, while Anakin and the others found themselves transported back to the physical realm in their starship. During the time of the Galactic Empire, long after Anakin had fallen to the dark side and became Darth Vader, as the sun had revealed in the vision Anakin saw, a rebel Jedi apprentice named Ezra Bridger discovered a painting within a temple dig site which depicted the father, the son, and the daughter. The painting was embedded with the Force and was actually a doorway to a mystical plane composed of a collection of doors and pathways that existed in a world between worlds, linking all moments in time together. Entering this realm, Ezra heard many voices of important figures in the galaxy, echoing across and through time and space. One of those voices belonged to the father. After leaving this alternate dimension and closing the portal to it, Ezra had to hurry away, as the temple around the paintings began to break apart. While that was occurring, the painted image of the father came to life, raised and brought together its hands, just as a painted image of a predator from the planet Lothal, called a Lothwolf, came charging towards it. With that, the entire temple came crushing down, leaving nothing behind. So, what was the father? What are the ones? Are they gods? Are they powerful force wielders? The embodiment of the force, perhaps? I'm afraid there are more questions than answers here when it comes to these beings. But whatever the father really was, what's clear here is that he was an eon-old ancient being, possibly immortal and incredibly powerful in the force. Though weakened by age, some of the force abilities he was capable of, but not limited to, were powers such as the ability to just with his bare hands to be able to stop lightsaber blades and force lightning in a display of some form of advantaged use of Tuta Minis. He was also capable of instant teleportation, purging memories by simply touching someone, an incredibly strong force push, and he could also sprout wings and fly. He didn't really need to do since he could teleport everywhere, but it's cool, it's another power. So did the dagger of Mortis really kill him or does the father exist in some form like a forced ghost or something else, who knows? However, I get the feeling that we have not heard or seen the last of the ones. Maybe we'll see them again in episode nine. Hope you enjoyed this video about the father. I tried to recap some stuff with the son as well because of course they are interlinked so well. So I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. 
And if you had seen the sun video, then maybe it was a bit of a recap. So have an awesome rest of your day. Throw a like on this one if you enjoyed it. And I'll cover the sister in the next video. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always. Now, fulfill.